Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is a BAM Credit Insights video about the Riverside Unified School District Financing Authority, which is selling approximately $25 million of special tax revenue refunding bonds. The bonds will be underwritten by Piper Sandler. Fieldman Rolap is the municipal advisor. And the bonds are expected to carry a AA rating with a stable outlook by S&P Global Ratings due to BAM's guarantee, as well as an A-plus underlying rating also from S&P. Joining me today is Todd Tomich from BAM's San Francisco office to talk more in depth about the transaction. Todd, thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. It's a pleasure. So, Todd, let's get started. These uh, bonds are payable from special taxes that are collected in specific areas of the city of Riverside. There are nine so-called community facilities districts, so it's not the entire city. Uh, can you help us dive a little bit deeper and explain what those districts are and how the taxes work? Uh, sure. Thanks, Mike. The district uh, here has... Uh, nine uh, CFDs, community facilities districts, that uh, each are issuing um, their own uh, district level bonds. This is really a neat structure that's fairly common in the marketplace where the school district will pool the nine uh, district bonds together uh, and sell authority bonds that will be insured by BAM. The revenue that's pledged on the uh, authority bonds is the aggregate of the debt service on those nine local obligation bonds. So what happens to the overall transaction if, if any one of those districts fails to generate as much tax revenue as you're expecting? Uh, that's a good question, Mike. The uh, district bonds are not uh, cross-collateralized. What that means is uh, in each case for each CFD, the special taxes are structured to pay debt service on the district bonds that are associated with that CFD. Uh, if there is a shortfall, the only protection at the authority level that creates some cross-collateralization is the reserve that's held by the authority bonds. And that reserve requirement in this case is the standard lesser of three-prong test, and BAM will be providing a surety policy in lieu of cash. Otherwise, there's no cross-collateralization at the district level. And, of course, for the investor level, BAM's uh, guarantee is in effect. So if there's a shortfall in any of those things, BAM makes up the difference and investors will get paid in full timely payments of principal and interest. And that, um, that's right, Mike. You know, we are looking at the nine individual CFDs on their own merits. And in this case, uh, given that they're uh, entirely uh, residential and fully developed, um, they also have closed liens um, and sufficient debt service coverage at the local level. Uh, we are comfortable with this credit. Yeah, those are all great points. So the, he the heavy residential uh, development is a sign of stability in those uh, communities. Are there any other macro factors you take a look at, uh, you know, when you're um, doing this credit analysis? Well, the stability of the local economy on this type of transaction is important. Uh, the city and county of Riverside have broad and diverse uh, local economies. Uh, wealth measures for the area are in line with benchmarks. Uh, and there's no notable concerns around uh, uh, taxpayer concentration or employment concentration. Uh, we view uh, the city of Riverside and the county of Riverside as uh, uh, very stable. What about any kind of natural disaster risk, California? Obviously, you think about uh, earthquakes and increasingly wildfires. Again, we're looking at the each of the CFDs on their own merits, so we uh, take a deep dive in terms of uh, flood hazard risk maps, uh, wildfire hazard risk maps, et cetera. Uh, and in each case here, we've uh, found that the uh, risk associated with those events is uh, within uh, BAM's bandwidth. Well, thanks for, those time, uh, for your time and those insights, Todd. We really appreciate it. And uh, for any viewers watching at home, if you have any questions about BAM or our analysis of this credit, please feel free to email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com. You can also go to our website at bambonds.com and retrieve a pre-sale credit profile about this transaction. Thanks for watching.